In this section, we're going to go over some of the advanced in-call features available to you, including hold, transfer, and conference. First, we're going to look at the hold function. This feature is especially handy when you're either taking another call on another line, or you have to leave the phone for a moment. Now let's show how it works. In this case, I'm in the middle of a call with my colleague Bob, and I need to put him on hold for a moment. To do so, I simply press the hold key, and the call is placed on hold. To return to the call, just press the hold key again, or press the reconnect soft key. Either way, you'll return to the conversation. When you have to put a call on hold and need to take a longer break, press the hold key and then rest the handset on the cradle. At this point, the hold red LED will start flickering and the display of the phone itself will show that the call is still on hold. Now we're going to talk about the conference feature. It's a very typical situation where you have to speak to more than one person at the same time. The number of parties you can have in a conference will vary depending on the system setup. The OpenScape Desk Phone IP55G itself supports three-party conferencing, but depending on the communication system that the phone is connected to, it's possible to dramatically increase the number of people in a conference. Today though, we're going to simply focus on configuring three-party conferencing that's available within the phone. Let's show how it works. To set up a three-party conference, during a call, you simply use the conference key. Then, you dial the conference extension and press OK. As soon as the third party picks up, press the conference key again, and a three-way conference is automatically initiated. Now we're going to discuss the transfer feature. There are a number of times where I simply can't answer a question or I'm just the wrong person to carry the call forward. In these cases, it's really important to be able to instantly transfer the call to the right person. The OpenScape Desk Phone IP55G features different methods of call transfers. The first way is known as the attended transfer, in which you have the opportunity to actually dial through and speak to the transferred party before making the transfer. The other option is known as the semi-attended transfer, in which you transfer the call after you hear the phone ringing to the transferred party. Let's start by looking at attended transfers. These are extremely easy to do, and now we're going to look at how to do them. To perform an attended transfer, start by using the transfer key during a call. Once you hear a dial tone, press the extension, and then hit OK. As soon as the transfer party answers, press transfer again, and the transfer is complete. To perform a semi-attended transfer, the process is almost the same as for performing an attended transfer. During the call, I press the transfer key then enter the number of the transferred party and press OK. As soon as I hear the phone ringing, I press the transfer key again to complete the transfer. Then I can hang up the call and go on with my day. Now let's talk about call forwarding. Call forwarding is useful when you're going to be away from your desk, but you still want calls to be able to reach you. Let's show how that's done using the forward button. To set call forwarding, Simply press the forward button and then press the accept soft key. Calls will now be forwarded to the last number call forwarding was set for. This number is also shown on the display. To deactivate call forwarding, simply press the forward key again and the phone will resume normal operation. To set call forwarding for a different number, press the forward key again and now press enter destination. You can now enter a new extension on the keypad and then press OK or set forwarding on the soft keys. You can also maintain a list of call forwarding destinations. This is really useful if you have a number of devices or locations that you frequently use for answering forwarded calls. Again, press the forward button and then press the settings soft key. Then press the edit favorite soft key and you're able to enter up to five different locations to which you want to have calls forwarded to. For each one, enter your extension after you've pressed the edit soft key. Scroll down to the number and then press the edit soft key again. 
and repeat this for as many extensions as you want to enter as call forwarding destinations. Once you've done this, press the save and exit soft key and then press the phone button to return to the home screen.